good afternoon and good evening whenever and wherever you are. Welcome back to the Beta Plans. We've returned to its grey matter. Where we just had a lovely breakfast by Mrs. Dalton. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna read that paper that she brought up. After all, I was gonna be there in the game. The Oxford students prank at horsepath track for most blind custodian. The elaborate and bewildering ruse occurred at the horsepath athletics track last night. Someone adorned the gravel track with an elaborate pattern. Crop circles at Oxford? It seems the prank to might have been inspired by crop circle content. The horsepath director was not impressed, especially since one of the maintenance personnel was nearly injured. Horsepath track? That's the track we imagined last night. How weird. Hmm, this is not good. I need to look into this. I agree. Well, reasons to get out of here, I assume. But before we go there, I'm going to go back to Christchurch. I haven't looked into here yet. Then again, Back then, we weren't allowed to continue. No point going in there right now. Because, uh, well, that. The game does uh, have a little bit of a, a, well, a track it wants you to follow. No point going in there right now. And thus, I can't do everything that I want to. Uh, I'm just going to go back to Dreadhouse Hill. And I want to... You know, we never looked properly at this side, I believe. So, I just want to... Look at that for a moment. Hello? The bike will have to wait until I've got a bit more cash. No, 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 I think we did see this. I think we... I, I, I remember distinctively that we did look into this. But was there a I car? I think that's a Bentley under there. Nice. Did we? I don't know. I'm beginning to wonder. I think we did check out our out of our bike and said that it wasn't startable anymore. These look old and a bit moldy. Well, and then I would love to get up into that little tower there. Not sure if we are yet allowed to do so, but I just feel like swimming around a little bit more. Also, within the house, I don't know if there are any instructions inside. I didn't look at it. I was just too keen on. I can't get in here, right? I like that statue. It looks like something you'd see at a Halloween supply shop, except it's real. Also, look at the trees. It's a uh, mighty windy out here. But uh, I cool been... tower. I wonder what it was used for. But I have been told that it is uh, common for the English weather. Then again, I'm not too. How should I say? Shocked by that, after all. Uh, we did have... Well, I'm from the Netherlands, so we don't always have the best of, of weather elsewhere. Hey, that's new. Is it? I don't know anymore. I just don't know. Fire dogs? Anatomical statue. I'm sure we didn't look at that yet. It doesn't look like anyone's used that fireplace in ages. Still a zipper pouch around here. Now that I know the clinic doesn't see patients anymore, this is even creepier. Nice thing to have in your living room. Yeah, so that was definitely added. Are we still not going to steal? I guess I not. wonder why Mrs. Dalton keeps cash lying around. Then again, no one ever comes in here but me. And, oh, sorry, hit the mic again. Because whenever I, I think of things, I tend to, uh, well... It's locked. Kind of rub over my chin and uh, the stubbly beard I have, you know, just to be like a, the finger, the statue. And by proximity, I sometimes hit the mic. But I have a feeling with this game, I do it more often than normal. But that's probably because I have to think more often than normal in this case. Did we look at the owls back then? Stuffed owls. Adds a nice fresh-from-the-field vibe to dinner. I think we looked at everything else. So we probably can go in the basement, but I first want to go up. If you don't like this explo uh, exploratory part, I'm sorry, but I'm just curious. This game intrigues me enough that I want to see everything. I'm pretty positive we've seen this, but... 
Looks like a monk. Or Quasimodo post-surgery. Yeah, I only remember that supposed joke, Quasimodo. I think that's Dr. Styles' room. It's a bit weird that our rooms are so close together. He can move. I'm not giving up my room. No way. Right, because this isn't his weird house. Weird painting. A woman and an owl. I like it. Pretty surreal. I don't see any additional information in here, but... The only additional information I can expect is from the basement hall. Oh. This looks downright dungeon-esque. Including these heads of a hag and a goblin-like creature and... There's a spider over here. Miss Dalton, you have to clean up properly. Clean up on... Nice effect seeing those faces look down at you from the darkness. Maybe I can incorporate something like that into my act. On aisle minus one. Is this a lever? No. It makes me think like it's a lever. Floor gate. Back gate. Wine rack. And why much? This one wall probably costs more than I've made in the past five years. Well, that's your prefer We can open this? Um, not gonna happen. Not without a few sticks of dynamite, anyway. Oh. I guess that's cool. Let's check the back gate. That must be where Dr. Styles keeps his past victims. Oh boy. Darling, you just were in an experiment yourself. He doesn't have past victims. Why did I call her Darling as well? The door's locked. Okay then. Almighty space bar? Main lab. There we go. Probably have to do things over here. This guy really. Someone in the Styles' family had a thing for stuffed birds. Oh, yeah. That one's just plain evil. That was actually was almost about what I want to say. Not so perhaps the family styles, but that the, he loves his stuffed birds. These are brains in a jar. This is actually what is exactly his name, dude. Well, jars. You never know when you're going to need a spare brain. Oh, I'm surprised you're not creeped out by this. Comparison to the crow. There's a lot of stuff here. It looks like a full body medical scanner. Must have cost a fortune. I think so as well. The shape of some of those is a little odd. I wonder if they had abnormal brains. Hello. I don't mean to look at the vase, I mean to look at the. That's the woman from the portrait in the hall. Yeah. Definitely his wife. Wait, what? Why can I do something with the Voss? Those dead flowers are pitiful. I guess Styles doesn't let Mrs. Dalton clean down here. Which would explain the spider. Okay, Miss Dalton has been excused from my uh, accusations. That looks Victorian. Very cool. I could see that in my dressing room someday, when I'm famous. I don't think that's very Victorian, to be honest, but that's me. Uh, though it is phrenology, which is definitely... Why? What can I do here? That looks Victorian. Ve I could see that. Am I looking at the face or at the... That looks Victorian. I could see that. Like, I have the feeling there is... The dead rose itself. Those dead flowers are... Yes. Then there is the head. That looks Victorian. Which I is what I'm hitting now. Then there is the vase, which I can take for some reason. Then there's a picture. Okay, so don't rest that. Appointment book. 2002? Someone's a pack rat. This is your brain on a blackboard. We have clearly notified Scribbles about what type of area he's studying. That must be interesting. Textbook, alright. A little light reading? No thanks. Well, I guess we're then going to take the note of instructions. Holy ink. Miss Everett, as mentioned, I need you to sort my files. That was the reason for your employment. Instructions are as follows. In general, file a folder by the first letter on the tab, except if it is a publication of mine, file under P for publications. I would just have a separate folder for publications. If it is, if it concerns Oxford, file under O. 
I don't expect you to finish today, but do begin. If this isn't tra too strange, you do awfully. I want to sort those files before Dr. Charm gets up. Straining me too awfully, my ass. I yep. want to sort... Yes, he is a, a, a very big charmer. Oh! Even more, right? Dear Dr. Stiles, we are in desperate need of the contractor's report for the equipment donated to the FMRIB Center at the John Radcliffe Hospital in 2002. This is the fifth notice we sent you to in the past two months. Please send the receipt to me by Friday at the latest, as is required by our auditors. Desperately, Susan Whittier. Whittier? Whittier? I should Whittier, but still. Assistant to Mr. Hadley, the Department of Clinical Neurology, Radcliffe Infirmary. Infirmary. What? I should keep my eyes open for that contractor's report. Um, that will probably get us some bonus points if we could. There's also the main. Oh, there is the cabinet. And we can also go into another part of the. the I want to sort those files. Art of the Brain under Ada. MRI published in. Where is it? Is that his publication? It is a publication, so I am just going to say it's a P. My way or the highway? That's just gonna be M then. M. There. E science. I'm just gonna say E. How not to work? Oh, it runs like this. I was like, I can't find stuff. How to work? Lobotomy. Lovely subject. Yellow lights. Science at the crossroads. I uh, there. Organic life in O. To be or not to be? That's the question. There. That was fast. Aye. And now I can snoop. What fun. Indeed. I can snoop inside Scientific here. articles and stuff. Scientific patient case files. Oh. Nothing exciting in here. We just did this one. E science ourselves, so I don't think that's important, but let's just look at it. Nothing exciting in here. Are you also going to say that about E's MC squared? Nothing exciting in here. That is a fundamental law. This should be enlightening. External powers of ordinary minds. Wait, if that is a published article with him with a proper face. But it's not an article by him, so perhaps that's why it's not under the P. We all heard the news that we can only use one tenth the capacity of our brain. I really need to like like dial in on to read this properly. Uh, it is as buggy for uh, uh, a little messed up for my screen as it is for yours. That has to do with the fact that it's a white screen, but I'll try and read it. But why is it that? Sorry, but why is that the case? And what intriguing possibilities lay in the dormant sections of gray matter? These, there are billions of neural connections in the brain. When an infant is born, the neurons are still sending out test flares to other neurons and gauging the response. Our brains, our brains, pro, pro connections that aren't productive and strengthen connections that are. Oh, it, it tests them, so the ones that aren't working, it leaves them be, and strengthens the connections that actually are productive. All right. The early years in which we experience our world sets our neural wiring for life. There are entire networks of potential connections that are unused because, in our infant life, we did not find a need for them. We find proof in a few extraordinary cases, such as a boy who was blind from birth that developed bed-like abilities to send objects. He could ride his bicycle at terrific speeds despite his lack of sight. Actually, there are people known like that, but this boy uses uh, echolocation by clicking. He lives in America. And our species continues to evolve new mental capacities. Scholars believe that the ancient Greeks did not see as many colors as we do today. An early Christian historian commented on how Bruins and Augustine 
was because when he read to himself, you could see his lips move. I don't get that reference, sorry. Fields outside neurobiology give us clues to the potentials of the brain. This has just shown that our brain has a special relationship with the world of matter. When we are not perceiving a subatomic particle, it is a wave. But when the human brain turns its attention to it, the particle changes form, behaving like solid matter, which is true of so that experiment. In the areas of psi research, scientists have demonstrated that the brain is capable of abilities that have no explanation according to the current understood picture of the brain, or even that of time and space. Ooh, we're getting into the good stuff. In the next 50 years, we will begin to discover just how extraordinary our minds might be, how deeply interconnected our brains are to the physical reality, and vice versa, and how we can awaken new potential within the human mind. This is an intriguing article I see. Which also explains why many of the patients were supposed when I said handicapped, because you need to develop other parts of your brain. Dr. Stiles writes well, but I don't believe in psi powers or the paranormal or any of that stuff. Well, you better get quick to it, darling. You've just been in an experiment. By the way, if this is one of his articles, it needs to be refiled. The neurobiology department is looking for a report on an fMRI donation. This must be it. I should get this to Susan Whittier at the neurobiology department. Well, let's take it then. Nothing ex- Nothing ex- Um, do we also have it? Yeah, we, we do. What is this? No destruction. Oh, yes. Alright, alright, alright. Newspaper, we read that. Radcliffe Infirmary letter. That's her requesting it. We found it now. We're doing, we're doing Nothing good. exciting. Patient. File cases. Nothing ex- I Patient case file. I thought it was perhaps under the CF case files, but all of a sudden, now it's also in J. Scientific articles and stuff. Um. Something written by Dr. Abraham Linkweller. This might be interesting. I believe that this was his former colleague. Ordinary powers of extraordinary minds. Also, notice that there is a 3D image of him. He might just run across this fellow. Some of my misguided colleagues have claimed that the human brain will develop extraordinary abilities in the future, going as far as to insist it will happen in the next 50 years. This is the worst kind of pseudoscience and magical thinking. The truth is there is no evidence that our brains have undergone any serious evolution since we hunted with bow and arrow and drag drug our kill back to the cave. Drug? Is that the past tense of dragon? I learn something new about the English language every day. The drive for shelter, food, sex, and security are as fundamental to our society as they ever were. Not entirely wrong. And we solve problems in the same way. Not by developing supernatural powers, but by good old-fashioned... cogitation. What our modern world made swift travel over long distances desirable, did we evolve the ability to fly? No. We used some mental thought process that invented the wheel to invent the airplane. The scientific reality is that the brain is well understood. It doesn't have any extraordinary powers and doesn't need any. The ordinary brain is miraculous enough. Too fast too. Five years after that other wow. article. This looks like a very pointed attack on Styles' Scientific American article. That had to hurt. Wow. Yes, indeed. Uh, nothing exciting. Nothing. Nothing. Ex letters are not interesting. Patient case file. If you want to snoop, I would say that is very interesting. This lists everyone in the department. Susan Whittier. Abraham Linkweller found him. So D. D D D D D D D D D David Styles. They were colleagues. They were colleagues. Very good to know. It's an old phone list of the staff in the neurobiology department. Oi. Nothing exciting in here. Nice brains. Mm, tasty. Very nice brains. Not for nothing an anatomy of hearing. Nothing exciting in Patient scientific articles and stuff. 
scientific articles and stuff. Nothing exciting in here. Sorry, I'm, I can't help the re repetitiveness of the sentence. Patient case files. But I have to look for everything. Scientific articles and stuff. Scientific articles and stuff. Nothing in here for the W for wonderful? Nothing exciting in here. Alright, well I think we've done it. Anything else that I need to click here? No. <laughs> the almighty spacebar only indicates exit. Alright. Uh, we've done the file cases. We've done all of this. Uh, there's only then to click over here. Because that's the basement hall, but this was the main lab it's at? Ooh. A location of the experiment of yesterday. That's the fMRI equipment. Supposedly harmless. I have to be... Better not touch Dr. Stiles' computer. He's not exactly the forgiving type. I also wouldn't think that would be a good idea. Who knows? Perhaps next night that you would get a sudden painful zap. Um, anything else? Restraining straps. And curtains. And beds. It's kind of weird how it toggles between the two. I think I prefer those open. Just so I have the illusion that I know what's going on. It was nice of Dr. Stiles to spring for the super deluxe lobotomy beds. <laughs> Okay. Uh, the straps now themselves, please. How do I click on the restraining straps? Because I'm supposed to be able to click on the beds, restraining straps. So it was nice. Yes, yes, I know, but I would like to talk, have a talk with you about the restraining straps, which are these. But you're not commenting about them. It was nice of Dr. The beds? This, oh, this, because it clicks this bed. I'm like, I'm trying to click over here and see if I can see something in the box, but... It was nice of... Please, talk about the restraining straps. Because that's the most weirdest thing in this room, the fact that he has those on the beds. Please. Please. Please? Can you please? Sugar on top of it? Very kindly? Ugh. Oh well. No such luck. I... I can't find the, the right the sweet spot. Seems more difficult than uh, some other supposedly very difficult to find sweet spots. PG-13. And... Oh, you could say... That's true! That's not a joke, it's true! Oh, no, no. Trust me. Perhaps I need to show you my secret technique. <laughs> okay... We'll stop myself over there, and let's just forget I said the line out. So, we got the Radcliffe Infirmary, which we need to go to, I understand that. We got the horse path track, I understand that, but I also would like to see... How are guinea pigs doing? Hey, it's the head lab rat. Yo. Don't call us that. Where have you been, Sam? Been trying to find you for an hour. I checked in the lobby, and your name wasn't in the register. Oh, damn. It's the Sam thing. They always have me listed as a boy. I thought of that. There are no Everett's at St. Edmund Hall, and I thought you said... After the divorce, I went to my mother's name. Then I changed my mind again. Why don't I just give you my cell phone number? Cool, I'll take it. That will give me a grand total of three on my contact list. 555 7866. 557 2496. Got that, got that one. Got it. Did you get mine? 555 2234. I don't have one. You don't get a lot of calls? Yes, well, how can you, darling, when you don't have a phone? Can we get back to the point? Did you read Ox Stew today? about what happened at the track. Maybe Styles has some kind of secret power generator hooked up to our brains. <laughs> I mean, did you get a look at him? He's like a refugee from a Dark Shadows convention. He is not. He is not. You have to admit it's bizarre. And my legs are actually sore today. As if I really did run last night. Now that you mention it. Yeah, mine too. 
Let me see. The truth is, we don't know what Styles is doing. He could be capable of anything. Unless you know Sam. You do know him well, right? Yes. You got us all into this. You wouldn't have recruited us unless you trusted the man. Mm -hmm. Of course. I've known Dr. Styles for... Sheesh. A while now. I'm sure this whole thing is just a coincidence. But if it'll make you feel better, I'll do some checking around before we go back tonight. Well, as long as you're volunteering. Uh, try the library. I hear they have books there and stuff. Shall we meet back here? What time? Noon? I'll let you know what I find out. Don't let us down, Samantha. Bye, Sam. Bye, Charles. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, no! Snappy come back from that from, uh, from her. Like, that's mine! Also, where is the other boy? I thought I thought I forgot about him, and then uh, he was the books, wasn't he? he did this lucky guy. He was there at the experiment. His name was on it, and I said I forgotten about him. I don't him. need to go inside. And then I thought I was the bookish type, but now I'm beginning to wonder if I'm just completely and utterly and confusing games. Well, we have a lot of places to go to. That's for sure. Um, also, hold on. Before we do this. Did we ever actually ever check this? No. This has to be a clue to the next location. I guess it means I'm looking for a pub. But which one? Well, we know the next one needs to be wind, right? And we only know of in the Oxford city center. So it's the Red Lion, actually. We can't go in there, I still think. Nope, almighty Spain. Oh, hold on. Woman selling flowers. She's selling wildflowers. We can exchange the dead flower. Don't know the entire purpose, but we can. Hi, I'll take a bunch of flowers. God bless you, miss. Now I've got a flower for you. Ready? Ooh, we will not love that. Beautiful. Thank you, miss. Don't stay out here too long, will you? You'll catch a cold. Oh, God bless you. Uh, what type of flower do we have for her? I don't know. But we can change the dead flower. I guess that's one of the things we're gonna do, because we like to make the lab more beautiful, because we actually kind of think David Styles is interesting. Something like that? No, no? Not a woman? Ah, the pub is open. The pub is called the Windy Dog. Appetizing. And windy. And we are looking for wind as our next clue in our dealer's club uh, uh, puzzle hunt. I think this is the pub we need to go to. What do you know? Hello, miss. Hi. <laughs> All the guys go me like, hey, there's a woman here. <laughs> okay, uh, oh. Hello. That uh, immediately attracts my attention. That's a curious piece. It's not every day you see a wishing horn. I am. Sh <laughs> <laughs> That's not how. Oh, oh, please stop the embarrassment. <laughs> 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 it's all right, love. Just a bit of fun, eh? Barrel of laughs. I don't know a lot about horns, but that doesn't look right. I think there's a piece missing. Yeah, I think that's the mouthpiece, to be honest. Uh... They don't look like the Daedalus Club type. Oh, but it doesn't say they have they to don't be. Look like Hi, my name's Sam. Can I bother you for a minute? I doubt that you could bother me, a nice-looking girl like you. <laughs> but I'm all ears if you want to try. Do you know the Daedalus Club? Is this pub in one of their riddles? Uh, Daedalus Club? Uh, couldn't tell you a thing about that, lass. Hmm. That... 
is an answer that doesn't give any information, to be honest. Can you tell me about the pub? Curious name, the Windy Dog. Uh, well, you see, it was named after the digestive problems of the original <laughs> owner's pet. Ha <laughs> ha ha ha. <laughs> no, I'm just joshing you. It was named for a ship, you know. The founder was a retired sea captain. Which is this guy? Which... The kill of the portrait is just simply dark. Makes you think of Mistopheles, but I don't think that's the same. Otherwise, that would be too coincidental. But that joke actually did make me laugh. Cute gimmick with that horn. Do many tourists fall for it? Do you mean the wishing horn? It isn't a gimmick. The horn was on the captain's boat. It was blown at any sign of danger. See, the captain still haunts this place. And if you blow the horn, his spirit will come to you. And if you speak your wish, might just grant it. Like I said, cute. Not very sanitary, though. Not a bit of it. I soak the mouthpiece in a hundred proof all day. <laughs> Cleanest damn spot in all of England. If you don't know what that means, a hundred proof means that he actually puts it in 100% of alcohol. To be honest, I, as a scientist, by times need to clean up my lab because I work with all kinds of nasty bugs. We clean our tables with 70% alcohol that are not in contact. The ones that are in contact at times, we clean with 96% alcohol. That is about the highest grade you can find for a reasonable price. Either this guy is loaded, or he's full of it. Loaded in a different way. I hope you catch the joke. Is there something missing from the horn? Like a mouthpiece? I told you I soaked it in a hundred proof all day, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Oh, he's gonna give it to us. Here you be. Gee, thanks. Um, I can't take on the portrait, surprisingly. Anything else? No. There is very little to it. I am surprised. Uh, oh yeah, first I have to go into the image itself, of course, too. No, I, I do want to use that. Now. There, thank you. Told you she wasn't stupid. That a girl! The captain was sure to hear that. Mm. Go on. I want a piece of gold. Piece of gold? What the hell is that? If it's money, you won't ask for a hundred pounds. Crikey. Whatever happened to love? That's what I'd like to know. Thought you looked the type. There's your piece of gold and a little something extra. Thanks. So he My does. pleasure. Good luck. The trial of the Archbishop Cranmer Christchurch Cathedral. The postcard says the trial of Archbishop Cranmer Christchurch Cathedral. Sorry, I took the limelight. So we need to go back there. All right then. But, we have solved the puzzles of the bar. We've got our little fourth piece of gold. We need a fifth one. But she also very astutely always mentioned to us that this was her first Thales. Uh, one. Oh yeah, it's still uh, going blippity blip for the other three. That's her first riddle, so we're probably going to get more riddles. But, I am pleasantly surprised that I am doing so well. Um, only... Have I been stuck only? I think I've been stuck only a little bit for once. For the rest, we've done, done fine. Well, and considering the time, I think I have to call this an episode. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. The jokes, the laughter, the mystery. I say thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.